loosely, loosely yeah. inspired by, inspired. you know, my upbringing, my real life, but um, it's not autobiographical in why? that sense. Why? It's not that I was holding back necessarily, but I think, um, you know, I was really inspired by, in terms of the lens of personal storytelling, I was really inspired by movies like Lady Bird, even TV shows like Rami, obviously The Farewell, Minari, where um, it's inspired by obviously sort of real events, but um, when I watch those movies, I don't I don't look at them as memoirs. I look at them as using the the real, the honest, the personal, the autobiographical to then tell a story. And so I think that's what I want to do with this movie. I wanted to um, make a movie that felt like the coming of age classics that I loved. Movies like Stand by Me, Rat Catcher, Eighth Grade, um, but rooted in a very specific point of view that I think hasn't really been seen in movies of this kind, which was you know. Movie, a movie that starred people who looked and talked like me and my friends, um, but still have it be as crass and loud and irreverent, but also emotional and vulnerable as you know the movies that I just listed. Um, but ultimately, it was you know mining the personal and the autobiographical to then take those details and tell a story. It wasn't it wasn't meant to be a memoir. Yeah, I mean everything in my life kind of traces back to skating you know skating was um you know i'm a younger brother that you know dd means little brother in mandarin i am the dd in my family and i had an older sister i had older cousins i had family friends who were older than me and so i think for a lot of my very like childhood i would always sort of be looking at them and being like oh what are they listening to what are they what do they like and kind of drawing my influences from them and skating was sort of the first thing in my life that was my own, my own discovery, and it really helped shape who I was, how I dressed, how I talked. Um, I still skate today, and it was through skating that I kind of um, fell in love with cameras and photography, and there's just a culture of, you know, documenting things in skating, and that was the seed of everything, you know, it all traces back to skating, and and I've, I've always loved movies, but, and so that kind of just was a gradual, you know, over a decade long, just journey of making things um and then with the shorts uh no i never had representation i i got representation i met my agent who i'm with now af almost a year ago today um after i took dd to the sundance screenwriters lab um me and my agent craig castell we met here at sundance and um and he's awesome I'm really happy that obviously she's joan chen a legend but um i think working with her you know, I was I was very cognizant of who we casted in this movie. I always wanted it to feel very homegrown and local. And um, sometimes when you work with stars, all of a sudden there's a there's a there's a there's a feeling on set where it's like, oh, the, the stars on set. We have to, you know, everybody be professional. And Joan's obviously incredibly professional, but she's also so playful and energetic and she really allowed us to you know get allowed me to get to work with an actor of her caliber but still have it be just as playful as working with the 13 year old actors um and she's also from the bay area so it really did feel very homegrown and she would come to set her daughter came to set with her her daughter ended up becoming a part of the production she would hang out with my mom and my sister and it really felt like you know she 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 was a part of this film family um and i don't think we could have i could have accomplished the 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 community feeling uh that i wanted this movie to have without her you know she was so special isaac yeah i mean isaac's incredible we found him pretty immediately because he had actually he was a child actor he was one of the few um child actors in the movie who had acted before and he actually starred or was in, had a role in a movie that my producer directed a few years ago, Ryan, The Last Dragon. And so we were always aware of him and knew he was the right age for the role. Um, and from the very beginning, we knew there was something special about him. Um, but it was this, you know, we were looking for a lot of very specific things about the character. Um, you know, he needed to skate. He needed to speak Chinese. Um, I wanted to find a kid who wasn't, you know, ideal. I was like, I wanted to find a kid who wasn't trained in the traditional sense. Um, because I wanted the the kids to kind of feel like boys, and I didn't want them to kind of come in and you know be polite. And I was I, and Isaac is not that, even though he's trained. And so we we did a bunch of Zoom sessions, 
And then I actually took him to the Sundance Director's Lab. And that was the first time that we really got to work together and we put up a couple scenes. And it was there that I sort of saw in him the, the perfect blend of what we needed. It was a very, very, um, you know, uh, strict professionalism. And he knew all the rules of filmmaking, but at the end of the day, he was such a real kid. And, you know, his hobbies are BMXing and now he skates after this movie. And I think it was just exactly what we needed for the movie. And it's a bond collaboration that I think I'm going to treasure for the rest of my life. When did Chris Columbus board? Did he, it, was it because of him the whole movie um, was made? Chris and I share the same agent, okay. uh, Craig Castell. And um, we were we were sort of looking to find the final pieces of financing. And um, Craig was like, I, I want to show this to Chris. I think he would be really into this. And and he's yeah, he was really supportive. I mean, he's Chris Columbus. And I remember he watched the first cut of the movie and he was like, the movie's incredible. You got such incredible performances from the kids. And he's like, and I know how hard that is. I've worked with kids before. And I was like, Chris, you've worked with like the kids, like the most iconic kids of our culture. And so to hear that from him was really special. He came to our world premiere. Um, yeah, I feel very lucky that, you know, to have his support. What's next? Um, hopefully some rest. You know, this movie was a, a bit of a sprint. Um, it, you know, I've been working on it for seven years, but uh, the lead up to production and then shooting and post production was really, really, really uh, the a sprint. It was such a tight schedule, and we were so determined to try and deliver it to Sundance and try and premiere at this festival because this festival means so much to me. You know, we went through the labs, um, but now that you know the movie's done, we've gotten to kind of share it with the world. I think. Um, there's, there's a bunch of other things that I'm excited to jump into, starting to work on the next thing, but uh, not in a rush. Yeah.